Good evening. Welcome to another episode of the Hops and Bobs podcast, episode 60. I am producer Tom. <laughs> I'm Joe. Yo, Mike. <laughs> and we are back on our part two of the One Hit Wonders trio of albums mm, we're doing. I yes. it's part two. Part two? Part two. Yeah. And then the next one will be part two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Trace. Oh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know my German. Um, <laughs> this one we're doing, we're doing Anthology by Ooh. Alien Ant Farm. Uh, just a real album. And... <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Get it out. And uh, to, to pair, we have uh, Hanging Hills Brewing Company's Pumpkin the Bear, a beer we knew about before this morning. I wanted to drink this beer for like an hour now. <laughs> AKA, I texted you the picture. It's nice, Joe, looks Joe, good. Joe sends a text. Does anyone even stop at the package store? I go, it's either that or I'm picking something random out of the fridge because I haven't had I haven't had time today. And he took me that picture and I just said, looks good. <laughs> I barely even read it. I saw it with pumpkin. <laughs> you got it. Said, you said it's smoked. I'm like, oh, nice. <laughs> he smoke a liquid. We don't need a battery. Anyway, uh, it's a smoked pumpkin. It says smoked twice. Smoked pumpkin, smoked doppelbach lager beer. Spelled B I E R. Six point eight percent established in twenty sixteen. Yeah. And by golly, we're gonna have some right now. I'm excited for it. It's like I think a, on the German like lager end of things. I believe it is, yes. Yeah. So Oh, that's oh, that's that the audio clip form. right there. That's a that's a head. Oh yep. I love oh, me some good head. That that's a lot of head right there. Because <laughs> it's like like sex. <laughs> okay. You know me. These shorter episodes got us kicking. I know. <laughs> It's a bit, uh, bit, uh, bit, bit on the darker, you Looks know. A creamier. Mm. You got me There's acting up right now. There's certain words that give me. Come. <laughs> you make me come. This is the beer spon- <laughs> paired with the song. All right, oh, I cheers. I got way too much head. Mm. Mm. Foam. Smoky. Foam. <laughs> Definitely tastes smoke. And I test, I'm, I'm test not, liquid smoke. I don't know, maybe it was just the first sip. I'm not really getting the pumpkin. Oh, no? I'm gonna steal I smell it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's the point. <laughs> no, because I got <laughs> but I'm saying I, it's Tom there. It smells a bubble bath. <laughs> I should have brought my rubber ducky this smells, episode. It smells like the sea. <laughs> it's yeah, it's oh, sea foam, actually. This is, yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, no, this walking is walking at the fish market and say, Good morning, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great What's album. Afro What's that from? Oh, that's uh, that's Afro Man, right? Doom, doom. Oh, that's not bad. This, I can't drink a lot of this. I'm not good with these kinds of beers with this such yeah. distinct taste. This tastes <laughs> like, um, like almost like a, a smoked rum, like the, that, that uh, mm. wood chip. Okay. <laughs> Man, don't you like a beer that tastes like wood chips? It's, but it tastes like that. It tastes like... Yeah, you no, know, I understand like, what you're going like for. wood burning, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Hanging Hills liquid wood chips. <laughs> a seasonal beer. <laughs> a seasonal brew. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I'm going to pull up their website. <laughs> so I, I asked the guy, I was like, hey, is this any good? Kind of caught my eye. It's like, yeah, it's good. Actually, this brewery, um, they started brewing. They were brewing at another brewery in Connecticut, but now they're brewing at uh, East Rock Lager in, I believe, in New Haven, New Haven or North yeah. Haven. Yeah, New okay. Haven. Um, and uh, I guess they've been, like, the quality of their beer has significantly increased. Mm-hmm. Um, Hanging Hill. So I'm not sure if they actually have their own tap room, right? but they brew out of East Rock. Okay. Not sure. <coughs> <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh, so they do have some kind of uh, music ties too. They have a uh, an IPA called Thank You Next, which is uh, oh, that's cool. Ariana Grande. When the drums kick in, I think I've actually seen that one. Yeah, it's, I saw it's it like, and I was like, oh, could have done that. Kind of perfect. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. But, yeah. Well, they're out of Hartford, Connecticut. Okay. Hartford. That's what okay. it says right on the top there. Yep. I don't see this on their website yet. I'm not sure why. Ahead of me. Heart, heartbeat. 
Because we're in, you know, with them. So we got yeah, to, you know, uh, yeah. You know. <clears throat> I do like their um, their labeling, though. They have, like, a consistent can design, but then, like, subtle differences based on the beer. Um, I, I think that's pretty cool. Um, pumpkin the bear instead of poking the bear. Yeah. It's, it's oh, clever. How'd they come up with that? Yeah, it's not even on their website, but it's okay. I don't blame them. West Hartford. Yes. Is where they are. Weeha! Hard hitting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's a pumpkin beer. You know yeah. what you're going to get. It's yeah. not going to, like, you know, blast would, uh, you off your feet. I would, I would like a little more pumpkin in it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's, it was a bit more, a bit too much smokiness. And actually, I've had a few smoked beers before that are usually, like, even, you literally taste like you just drank a campfire. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, you... That's the wood chip smell I was <laughs> going, going for. Oh. <coughs> you know, like if you were in front of a campfire all night and then the next morning you like licked your t-shirt, yeah. like that's the flavor you get out Right. Of it. You right. rigged it out into a beer. <laughs> um, but I got to give them the, the smokiness is, is kind of faint mm-hmm. um, compared to other smoked beers that I've had, which is not many, but Witch Doctor used to do one. Oh, really? Yeah, they had a smoked beer for a while. Nice. Um and then I, I just I don't know I'm not a big pumpkin flavor person for stuff, mm-hmm. but I do like pumpkin beers, and I would like uh, a little more. Like I'm still not really tasting a lot of that pumpkin. Yeah, I agree with you on that. I, I think the smokiness kind of outweighs the pumpkin. Wish there was a little more balance on that. And you just kind of get the 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 German style. Yes, yeah, like that's yeah, the more of what Pilsner I get. Or whatever it is. The is it Pilsner? It's the, a it's a lager. Top of lager. Lager beer. Mm, beer. They so, do seem like they're they're big music fans though, because I do see a couple of uh, references to that. They even have a, a lyric from Fleet Foxes in their Ethos tab. Ooh. Yes, so they do seem like uh, uh, good good act good uh, in that in that sense. But um, I'm not super crazy about it. I it might be just like brand new because I don't see a single thing about it on their website or anything else. But. I think it is. It's not. There's no rating for it on um, Beer yeah. Advocate. Interesting. Mm-mm. But you know, it's not bad. It's it's oh. it's pretty uh, pretty middle of the road for me as well. It's kind of where I'm at. Yeah. Not bad. I like that it's got something a little different to it. It's not just a pumpkin beer. Yes. It's got that smoke side to mm-hmm. it. But I think they could have balanced the smoke and the pumpkin a little bit more yes. to give you you mm-hmm. know some of both. Yep. So. I agree. Hanging so, Hills. Thanks, guys. Not a bad pick for me. <laughs> good choice, Mike. <laughs> yeah, good job. Well there you done. go. All good job credit. saying looks good to the picture. <laughs> he gave his seal of approval. Can't be picky when I'm not the one going. <laughs> <laughs> and then well, I figured try something different. You know? yeah. yeah, exactly. You can't, like you can't stick to the classics. Not our traditional IPA mm-hmm. again. Yeah. Okay. So, and then we have Anthology. No dash. No dash. It's really just anthology. It's just yeah. anthology. Which is weird. At least, like, capitalize A-N-T. Like, caps lock it, you know? It was 2001. That didn't Actually, exist back it, then. Uh, uh, they have to is, press shift is. the whole thing. Anthology is <laughs> stylized as ant. Oh, you see? They should have done that. Um, but, yeah. Oh, it is on the album cover. It's on the album cover. That's yep. how it's stylized. <coughs> uh, 2001, 13 songs. Mike, would you like to... Uh, uh, New Noise, which was Papa Roach's... Oh. Uh, yeah, and, and DreamWorks Records. DreamWorks Records? Yep. yep. This is so, from Shrek? Wouldn't it be cool like if the opening still had that like cloud yeah. with the little guy fishing? fishing. Yeah. <laughs> How bad this, this album starts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, since this is the One Hit Wonder series, what's the One Hit Wonder on this? Uh, this is the smooth. <laughs> I didn't get that either. <laughs> this is uh, this had the smooth criminal cover. Yes. Uh, little Michael Jackson cover. Yes. That they did back in uh, 2001. That was just the, the video was everywhere. Yeah. Um, it wasn't even their first single off this album. <laughs> was it? Uh, was it not? Movies. Uh, yes. yes. Movies. That one's that one has some some streaming numbers too. It's yeah. got about 35, yep. 39 and then mil. Smooth Criminal and then Attitude was the third. Okay. Um, and Smooth Criminal was one of your guilty pleasures too. It was, the, which kind of gave episode. us the the nudge to do this album. Yeah. And they actually had an album before this. Okay. Self released. So That's what it's called. 
No, no, it, it, I mean, it was it was self release. Got it. Like they, so like they stood on the and then street and like yes, and then they stayed out burned burned, yes. burned yeah. copies of it. Kinda. And they they uh, I don't see what I'm greatest <coughs> hits. Greatest hits. They have a greatest hit. They owe that album called True Ant in 2003. Up with, in the I, attic. What is with the ant theme? Yeah, th- listen, ants are cool, man. I just don't quite like. They must like ants. <laughs> and who doesn't? Did you know there's enough ants that um, they can carry like 10 times their body weight and there's enough ants on Earth that they can just pick up every human and throw them into the ocean? Damn. So the first track on the album was <laughs> Courage. They toured with Lincoln Park and Taproot. Really? Supporting Orgy. I could Supporting Orgy? <clears throat> I yeah. could Nothing hear, like that, I can hear that, Bill. Yeah. Good supporting Orgy. Nobody showed up for them. <laughs> Everyone showed up late. They didn't show up to that Orgy? Taproot's great. I love Taproot. Taproot's yeah, really good. 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 Hmm. Um, and then obviously you know, Lincoln Park mm-hmm. but uh, oh, I think it was just someone just posted it was 21 years or something from uh, Hybrid Hybrid Theory really just recently <coughs> yeah. yeah well it's yeah. probably 20 years from this album because it's 2001 yeah yep yeah. so crazy yeah so it opens up with uh, Courage I will take to the grave that Courage is a fucking slap this song, yeah. this song rocks. I love this song. This was a, it was a good one. Um, you know? Tom, was, I'm in 100% agreement. Put her there, pal. Right there. Yeah. Right there. <coughs> they crack your hand one. doing that? Yeah, there's a little bit right there. Yeah. <laughs> I made a little little <coughs> um, fracture in Joe's hand. Yep. Um, this is a lot of uh, a lot of like PlayStation 2 racing games had this track, yeah, or at least the style of music. I have a story about that. Um, my my go to game was uh, ATV Off Road Fury 2. Hell yeah. Yep. This was on that soundtrack. Yes, it was. I don't know if this wasn't my favorite song on the soundtrack. I think Science from uh, System of a Down yep. was on that, so I, I like that one. But um, this was definitely a good one. Um, well, if Smooth tr- if Smooth Criminal is like the best track, then I think Courage is my by far the best sleeper track. Yeah, I gotta agree with that. Um, I think that this is one of those albums that we've said in the past. The front half is better than the back half. Agreed. Sure. Yeah. So like the first maybe like five or six songs were okay, not yeah. bad songs. Yeah. After that, it died off, and the only saving grace was Smooth Criminal. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know if they put it there on purpose, or they just didn't expect it to be as big as it was. I don't know. I, I really... Right. I don't uh-huh. know why it's number 12. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I don't know why they have 12 tracks on this album. Yeah. Um, but, you know, this is a good song. It, it does. It has the System of a Down vibes. Mm-hmm. It, they're just like the second or third rate version of those bands of the time. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know, the, the Trust, uh, what was it, uh, Downfall by Trust Company uh, was a big song that sounds like, just like this mm-hmm. kind of music. Um, Edema mm-hmm. was a band that was around then that sounds just like this. Mm-hmm. It was that early 2000s, not quite the new metal, mm-hmm. but like that rock <clears throat> hybrid into that like yeah. mm-hmm. you had the big heavy like uh, uh intro mm-hmm. then you had that that mm-hmm. bass and vocal and drum it choruses. all comes back yep. then you had those big choruses <clears throat> right back into the heavy intro that went right back into that bass mm-hmm. drum chorus. Like, but it was just this method they have that like <clears throat> created this style and this sound and it's not that it's bad it's just no it, like for these guys, they just never hit the level of like the system of a down and some of these no. other bands did. No, yeah, um, I I also love Courage, and it's because of video games too. <laughs> yep, I love the ATV games like one and two. I would always play those, but I remember this song from a Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboarder. Okay, um, I remember talking about this a little bit on the Guilty Pleasures episode. Yeah. But um, my neighborhood friends and I. Um, this girl, Alyssa, lived down the road. My buddy Conrad from school lived lived on like the street next to me. We'd all like come come over to my house and hang out Fridays. Mm-hmm. We'd play this game. This song would come on, and it, it just brought me back right to that time. Um, so shout out to them. Um, we <laughs> we would always make our own characters, and Alyssa made a character. It, uh, she wasn't a big fan of cheerleaders. Mm-hmm. Back then, she was like anti cheerleader. Okay. So she wanted to name her character Cheerleader Suck, but because the character count, you couldn't fit that many letters. Mm-hmm. So she called it C Leaders and then S U K. So we ended up just saying Cleater Souk. And then now that's just like a running gag. Cleater Souk. Anytime we see each other, Cleater Souk. 
Um, so shout out to those great times. Oh. And Conrad and I actually tested, texted the other day about this song and album. We were mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, man, Sean Palmer's Pro Snowboard. <laughs> um, but this is this is a great song. I mean, oh, yeah. it, it opens with that drum fill, which I was obsessed with when I was younger. And then, you know, great intro riff. This is actually a great, I didn't expect this to be the first track. Yeah, it's not a single either. <clears throat> yeah, which is, yeah, yeah. is kind of crazy. Yeah. You know, the next track, Movies Is, mm-hmm. which I can understand, it sounds like a radio edit kind of song. Yeah. For being a single, I thought it was kind of a corny song. Yeah. It, you okay, know, it, it, it does its if, job. If, if Courage sounds like, you know, those songs of that era, this was like the even more mediocre version mm-hmm. of the song yeah. of that era. You know. The bass had a good little rundown as like yeah. the second line in the in the verse. Like a little fill. Yeah. Yeah. I think there are songs like Courage that are better suited for the popularity that this one got. Like I it's yeah. not like some big song of the time, but it no. you know, it's got thirty no. million streams. Yeah, right. It's nothing to scoff at. But it's not like a hit. So What, Courage? No, movies. this is this one. Yeah, I mean it's a good good rock song. It's, it's right? fine, yeah. but yeah. it's not my favorite out of no. the, the bigger ones. No. You can see why it's a single. You can see yes. why they put yeah. it on there mm, right. early. I just think like a song like Courage, and again, maybe it's because we're not mainstream mm-hmm. kind of guys. We don't really gravitate towards those types of songs as much <clears throat> as we do. Right. Some mm-hmm. of the you know deeper cuts and things like that. You know, Courage definitely, in my opinion, is a better song than this. By you know, yeah, 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 yeah. But I mean, it was, it was okay. Yeah. This this gave me. Um, while we're on the topic of influences, this is big, like, Sum 41 vibes for me. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like some of the, like, the In Too Deep type of Sum 41, a little yeah. more chill, not quite as in your face. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Almost like a, like a, like a <coughs> fat hair that. style. So. Yeah. And then there's other there's other songs on there that sound pretty similar to that style, too. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. They don't really have a crazy original sound that could be like, oh, that's an Alien Ant Farm sound to it. Like. No. No, they sound like even vocally, he sounds like a lot of vocalists from that era. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I you could lose some of these songs individually, like amongst a mix, and not really be able to tell whether it's yep. you know, alien ant form versus whoever else. Mm-hmm. Sure. You know, and even like this next one, Flesh and Bone, like it's got an interesting, cool little like bass driven with those little kind of uplift guitar or I mean upbeat guitar hits. But then once the chorus comes in, it's just that big, like the wide open, open. Yeah. wide open yeah. chorus. Yeah. Like right. it's it becomes so formulaic. Right. Mm. Well, this song reminds me a lot of another band. I don't want to steal your thunder because you you've been. No, I, I, we've talked about this, but this whole album to me had a very like second rate Incubus feel. That's funny. Yeah, I said the exact same thing in my notes. It like like... It, like if you took early Incubus mm-hmm. and just took a little <laughs> bit of talent from all of them. Yep. You know, like 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 Space Jam, just pulled the talent from them. Like, this is what we get. <laughs> <laughs> Michael's secret stuff. To, you know to exactly. You yeah, know. yeah. Like, this one and then the other tracks were Coleco and Happy Death Day. I said they all sounded like Incubus ripoffs. Yeah. yeah. Yep. This one for sure. Yeah. yeah. Flesh and flesh and bone. Big open with the high kind of. Um, uh, uh, you know, you got the vocals that definitely have some sort of edit on them. Mm-hmm. You know, some yeah. kind of effect. To get, yeah. Yep. You know, it's just, like I said, second rate oh, on, yeah. on all of it, which is why they're a one-hit wonder. Yeah. That was, that was like the end of an essay. <laughs> That's why they're a one-hit wonder. In conclusion. <laughs> In conclusionatory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a little uh, more. It's a little more of the same. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. And they all just open with that, dan it, dan it, dan it, dan it. Like on the guitar, it's like yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Summer's got kind of that like same intro, but then the way the bass and drums come in, they play off the same rhythm. Like, mm-hmm. but then again, it all cuts out. Vocals come in, and then eventually you have your chorus. Something about that summer riff. It's like he changes like one note. In it, and it sounds like kind of off, like bugs me. I don't it's like know. a major I to a minor chord or something. Yeah, I can't, like I a, can't like put my thumb on a it. Suspended fifth. Ooh, fancy. Sus. <laughs> trouble at school. Yeah. It's suspended fifth. But by this point, it, it's. I'm already losing it. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah. You know? 
Like, yeah, Courage and movies are okay. Yeah. Like, they, if, if there were songs similar to those or at least had that style, it could hold its own yeah. for an album. You know, but, Flesh you know. and Bone isn't terrible, but you're starting to get too much of yeah. that Incubus you're feel kinda, that's going down. Right. The roller coaster is kind of coasting down. Yeah. <laughs> Sticks and Stones is just bad. Yeah, this is probably my, my least favorite. Really? really? This is your least favorite? It's very corny. I mean, I don't love it, but I can see... Just, Three or four ones that yeah. I like worse than this. It just gets very choppy and yeah. like yeah, very uh. This is staccato. The, right, they're trying to be like experimental. And I mean, and then you're 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 singing about what a three year old says to another three year old. Right. <laughs> Deep. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> this is for all the people that say they're second rate incubus <laughs> sticks and stones. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm rubber. You're glue. <laughs> That's the next track. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, then you got Attitude with that little clean, like... I mean, don't get me wrong. Musically, like, they're talented. Yeah, you they're can solid. tell that they're mm-hmm. good musicians. They're tight. They've got some interesting, like we said, a little experimental but different kind of, like, you know, like this. That's not an easy riff to play, an Attitude. No, Yeah. The only thing is, it doesn't have really like any catchy qualities to no, it, or it just any kind quick. of yeah, originality. You know, it's not like um, da na na da na na. What's uh? Do do da da. My own enemy. No, or, what's uh, the the Blink song. That we oh, were Fat Lip. About playing Blink One Eighty Two. That's oh, got God, the God. tough intro. My what's age my is age in again? my game. What's my age again? Oh yeah, quick on the guitar. Like, but that's got a catchy riff. You always you hear it, you recognize it. Right. This just sounded like he was playing something really fast on the guitar. And mm-hmm. just was like, dude, I can play this really fast. Yeah. Check it out, check it out. This is this. Attitude, you're saying? Yeah. 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 And then they come in with the drums, and it's just... Mm-hmm. I do like the drums on this song. He, yeah, He gets pretty bass, creative but... here, and it kind of works. Yep. And vocally, I'm Ralph. getting a lot of... <laughs> Ralph. Sorry. Ralph came out. I'm getting a lot of... Um... Oh, God. What the hell is his name? I, I... Drawing a blank. The singer from Shinedown. Oh, Brent Smith? Yeah. Very early, like first album, Shine Down. Okay. Well, and then, like, this. right there after the welcome, welcome, which is annoying. Yeah. And it, like, hits. Yeah. And then, ding, ding, ding. Like, yeah. It just lost everything right yeah. there. Like, that's mm-hmm. where they needed to like, come in big and then come back or something. Yeah. I don't know. So, at this point in the album, I'm just like, yep. all right, when Smooth Criminal. Well, that's the other <laughs> thing. It's 57 minutes. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. 56, it, 40. Like, I. 13 songs like isn't a terrible amount of tracks, but when you see that almost an hour minute count, like these songs are long. Like everything's yeah. almost like four or five minutes. Yeah. And, and I honestly, at track, every track that went by, I'm like, all right, when's Smooth Criminal coming? Like I'm yeah. listening to the album purely so that that song can come on because I love that song. Mm-hmm. It was just, yeah. yeah. So and I think this is kind of, yeah. And like, again, was this like the the time of like hidden tracks? Because there's a hidden track at the end of this too. Which this the entire last track I think is useful, useless. Oh, nine minutes, yeah. The first, the, like the last track, and then the bonus whatever at the end of the sound oh, gap yeah. was just garbage. They should have if they wanted to move, save smooth criminal at the end, mm-hmm. they should have just let that be the album closer, or put that as a secret bonus track. Yeah. So that, but if that's their most popular track, I don't right, think you I want know. it as a as a bonus. No, true. Well, once streaming comes out, like I bet they'd split it and make yeah. that its mm-hmm. own track. But like, I, CD, I remember buying CDs in that time, and like almost every CD and album had a bonus track. It was like very popular, very yeah. trendy at the yeah. time. Now you can't really do that. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, Universe I thought was garbage. Mm-hmm. It ends at the the main song. Universe ends at five minutes fifty three seconds. Yeah. yeah. 30 seconds of silence. Yeah. And then the hidden track called Orange Appeal starts after that. That's what's called Orange Appeal. Yeah. 30 seconds of silence is a bit long. Yes. Yeah. Like. Disturbed did that with. um, Fish Wolf. Yeah, which was a cover of. uh, I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Yeah. But I need to. Okay. And I remember. But again, even like um, uh, Skindred, who I'd love to do. We got to do one of their albums. but They're fun. I love Skindred. Babylon was a great album. Um, they're one band that I like. I'm dying to see at some point. But anyway, same thing. When you listen to the very last track, it dies, and then all of a sudden, what comes out of it is acoustic version of their single "Pressure," mm-hmm. and it's just an acoustic version at the very end. 
I would always run into these bonus tracks or these hidden tracks by playing an album and then when it ended, mm -hmm. just waiting for like my CD changer to switch. Right. And then I'd catch it because it would come on and be wait the fucking what? Yeah. Where did right. that come from? Yeah, yeah. You know? Exactly. Yep. Oh. That's cool. Yeah, but smooth criminal. Can't beat it. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Cover. I mean leading up to that, like Wish is kind of decent. It's There's like, a reason I skipped them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're yeah, just really. all yeah, more of the it, same. It, it, you, know? it you know, had a good pulse to it, good tempo, yeah. up tempo, but I mean again, nothing stand out. No. What did you say about Calico earlier, Tom? It, it was very uh, incubus heavy. Oh yeah, reflections on it. Yeah. And also, I believe it's a type of cat, right? It the is. Calico cat. Yes. One. There's a Calico. I don't know. Calico or sure. Calico or I don't know. Caillou. Ca 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 a Caillou cat. Yeah. Yeah. Caillou. A Caillou <laughs> cat. It's one of those skinless cats. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Death Day. I was about to turn the album. No way. Is this saying because on here it's just Death Day? Oh. Really? I don't yeah, know. I would say Happy Death Day. This song. I'm oh, like, yeah, on on, uh, on Wikipedia yeah. it just says Death Day. And it's Happy Death Day on here. That's yeah. weird. Hmm. It, w it wasn't happy as happy as it was before. Uh, usually, Death Days aren't, but... Uh, but then... <laughs> yeah, that's Incubus. Yeah. I know. But then... No, this is... Yeah, and of yeah. all, like, I mean, this is... Not that... I mean, obviously, it's a big Michael Jackson song, but, you know... Not one that you you think of a lot of others before you think of smooth criminal. So for them yeah. to hit this one and just fucking. Just this is how you cover it. a song. Kill yeah. it. This is probably one of like the most popular cover songs. It has to be. has to be. Yeah, because I can't think of any other ones that are that big. Yeah. No, I mean you got like Shine Down's Simple Man, you know, which is which is really really well known and mm -hmm. great song. So yeah. what, what how they interpreted it. And yeah. really made it their own is just great. But again, they put it at twelve in the track list. Right. I don't know what that's about. I, I don't know if that's because we said it like we said at this time streaming wasn't, you know, a, a, mm -hmm. a thing. So you didn't so you had like by putting it there you were mm -hmm. almost kind of forced, I guess, in a sense to listen, but not but really. You can still you can still hit skip, skip tracks. Yeah, it's not like track. a like one of those four track cassettes where no. like no skips where you have right, to, where you have to, to like it. rewind and like fast forward and remember yeah. where you were, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's not during that time. Yeah. Like I get the idea of like, oh maybe if they listen to the whole thing then they get to the end and then they'll hear it. But right. like it gives no... validation to like the later half of the album. But, but the, yeah, there's no payoff in doing that. Yeah. It makes no, it makes no it... sense logically. Does it say if any of them like a Bonus track, except for a universe, no. Just, yeah. Like you know how sometimes they yeah on streaming like, yeah. they throw on bonus tracks like mm -hmm. as part of the album like did that for you know, Luke Combs. But even but... Yeah, I mean, but but then again, I don't I don't I don't know. Obviously, we're not good enough musicians to have a uh, you know record label produce an album for us, so I'm not sure how this fully works. And maybe you guys mm -hmm. have more insight. But when you make an album, obviously, I'd assume you. Right off the bat, know what your first single is going to be. Yeah. Do you automatically have an idea of what all three singles would be? No. Or is that based off of how it, how it goes? How they I, go? I think or... it's because I, you know, when I talk to um, my friends Nick and Asher and their their um, their album they put out, I think they put out the first single and then they decided after the album came out or like not after it came out but after they finished it what the other singles were going to be. They had someone else come in from their label and figure out what they were going to release them as. Because I'm just it wondering, might, like... It might be different. If per... Smooth Criminals at the bottom, was that because the band thought that maybe it was... Because it's a cover? I mean, at that time, mm -hmm. covers weren't a big thing like they are now. Yeah. Now, covers are huge. And I got Weezer right. covering a whole... For a whole People album. People are doing a whole yeah. album. Yeah. You know, Teal Disturbs Teal doing one every other day. Mm -hmm. You know, um, yeah. they just did... He just did Beat It with... Um, from Ashes to New. Yeah. They just did a beat it cover when he's on vocals. I mean, he's done Sound of Silence. He did, um, what's the, the, the song, um, Lose My Faith in You by yeah. um, okay. uh, Sting. And, uh, did Police. you say Sound of Silence? Sound of Silence. Land of Confusion. Land of Confusion. Every, I think every album they do a cover. They do a cover at this point. You know? You know, um, 
you know, bad wolves did did zombie like right, yep. this is just a big thing now. Well, it's to get the streams. It's to it, and it's to rejuvenate classic songs that are mm-hmm. now yeah. You know, the '90s, 2000s, which are now 20, 30 years old. Well, so, we always you know, talk about with our band. The reason we transition to full covers is because people want to hear what they know. Right. Oh yeah, of course. And, and for bands that might be towards the end of their career, it's a way for them to get some more people to buy into their other mm-hmm. music if right. they hear a cover or song that they yeah, kill. Mm-hmm. Exactly. At this time, I don't really remember when we were this... I mean, we're talking fifth, sixth grade for me and Joe. I mean, mm-hmm. Tom, we're talking... I think you were still breastfeeding. Um, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> or baby like Asian kids. She get free plugs everywhere. Yeah, That's right. right, yeah. So anyway... Um, so... <laughs> I don't... I don't... Maybe they didn't think this was going to be as big as it was. How could they not, though? But that's... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just wondering. Yeah, I know. It's... it's it's interesting. Well, yeah, because when you do a cover, you got to pay like most of the royalties yeah. from that song to the original artist. So maybe in a sense they didn't want many people to listen to it, but at the same yeah. time, like it's a it's and it's a Michael classic. Jackson too. Yeah, you one of his biggest cheap. songs. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, to yeah. cover one of his, it's not yeah. cheap. Yeah. Going back to your single conversation, Mike, because now it seems like. Artists pump out like three or four singles before they even mm-hmm. release the album, so I feel like it is planned. Even back then, when music videos were huge, Think about it, yeah. they have to hire the director for the music video, the producer, the, all producer, yeah. the people that are going to star in the music video, the cameras, yeah. all that. So there is a lot of work to decide what the singles are. I feel like they do map it out. But what was the first single? Movies, movies, and then Smooth, smooth Criminal. Criminal. I feel like they had to know this was going to be a single. Mm-hmm. You know, which then just maybe they want more people to listen to the album. They thought, yeah, more people. I don't know. It builds because it doesn't even fit towards the end. It doesn't even fit in the sense of stylistic with mm-hmm. those songs. No, it fits the first three or four songs of the album. Right. It does not fit the way the album ends. Well, to steal a line from you from the lit episode last episode, I feel like they blew their load on this song. They are just. Peak like musicianship, like they tight, yeah, tight, tight, mm-hmm. tight, tight. Even vocally too. I don't know if that's him mimicking Michael Jackson or if it's they're using Michael Jackson. No, I think it's him. Yeah, the singer. Yeah, even during yeah, that so. that bridge. The... Yeah, that. I don't think that's. I don't that's think that's, that's, don't think that's yeah. Michael. Because you'd have to pay even more than that. That's true. Just, I would assume that yeah, right, if you actually uh, straight up sample. sample. But yeah. then the rest of the album is just that mediocre, like... Yeah, they were they were edging the whole they album literally, until they got to... <laughs> they, they, yeah, they I, just, I was just yeah. going to say, they like, they foreplayed for like three songs, yep. they fell asleep, yep. <laughs> and then they got the uh, the, the late the night hymns. poke. Yeah, they got hymns. And <laughs> they then, got the late night poke, yeah. bam, three minutes, All right, right, out. And then, what's, <laughs> and then what would universe be? That's when you're smoking a cigarette yeah, outside. That's <laughs> yes. And then you then it goes out and you can't find your lighter for thirty seconds. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's 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 where you get the towel. <laughs> that's where you're peeing. Yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't want a UTI. Yeah. No UTIs. Oh. Uh, no itchy dick. But uh yeah, I mean I don't really yeah. have much that's about it. else to say yeah. about the album. Uh, Tracks? Yeah, tracks. I mean, I feel like Can another we one. I'll say Smooth Criminal. <laughs> That's a given. Number yeah. One. yeah. I yeah. feel like with all of these one hit wonders, yeah, that no, should sure. be that, the yeah. best song. It makes sense. That's yeah. why. Are we all in conjunction that Courage is ours? <laughs> Sleepy Dark Horse? Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yep. He's, he's of course. Napping. And Which we, sucks because it's the first track, so it's like mm-hmm. you're gonna listen to it, you know. Mm-hmm. And are we all in conjunction that universe and the bonus of the works? Yes, yes, yeah, we are. <laughs> I will. I think that's our first uh, sweep. <laughs> Three I think we've done yeah. yeah. Hat trick. Yeah. Yeah. We're filing paperwork at this point. That's a hat trick right there. <laughs> that's a hat trick. Yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah. I mean, I don't know if this really debunked the. Uh, one hit wonder claim, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is like a two and a half hit wonder, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, Courage has kind Courage. of that cult following yeah. because of the video game. And I think movies, movies has had a, exactly. a following just because it was the first the single. single. It had a music video. It was yeah. kind of their first. That's about it. So yeah, yeah. But other than that, I mean, I don't think no. the album is. No, I would prominent. never listen to this again. Yeah, yeah. This was yeah. this was tough. This was 
a tough listen. I think it would have matched better with the last one we did if it was shorter. So okay, it would have like the same level. Yeah. But I think this one hurts a little more because it just kind of drags. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, For sure. I mean, I'm giving it, an, again, three bops. Three? That's it. Okay. Just, just three. Yeah. I mean, it's got three decent songs. Mm-hmm. I guess the one place it's getting away right here with that I probably could hit it a little more for is the length. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. when you're talking about the quality of the songs in it, it's, it's a, the same as Lit. It's a, it's a three for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to give it slightly more than what I gave Lit. I'll give it a four. Just because it had a couple more hits than just mm-hmm. the, the single hit that they had. Um, you know, like I said, I, I really love Courage. It's a, a staple of my childhood and many others. And movies was okay. Obviously, Smooth Criminal is the focal point uh, at track 12. Um, but, you know, I didn't have crazy high expectations. I kind of knew what I was getting into. Um, it wasn't too gimmicky, but it, it wasn't very flashy or boundary pushing either. Mm-hmm. And it was an okay album, but again, I won't be returning to it soon. So I'll give it about a four. Yeah. All right. I'm going to, I don't want to compare the two albums. It just so happens they're in our mini series. But... Yeah. I'm going to give this higher than Lit. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Okay. Just because I think from a musician standpoint, these guys are a lot better of a band mm-hmm. than Lit. I, the musicianship is great. I mean, and I kind of like this kind of style better than what Lit did. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm, I'm giving a little higher. Uh, did I say my score? Four and a half. Four and a half, yes. <laughs> four and a half. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, I won't return to the whole album. It's way too long. They need to like delete yeah. or delete. They need to like remove like two or three tracks from it. Yep. Maybe even more. I, yeah, more. The yeah. whole thing should have been bonus. Um, like that last track, Universe, get that out of here. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And then a, a few more. So, yeah. How about our. Um, Hanging Hills. Hanging Hills, Pumpkin the Bear. Pumpkin. That bear. Um, smoked Pumpkin, Smoked Doppelbach Lager Beer. Giving it a three. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very three day for me right yeah. here. I just. <laughs> And you picked it, too. I, I did. I did. Yeah. It was a poor pick on my Looks end. Good. <laughs> it looks um, good. <laughs> it does. It does look good. <laughs> no, it's just... I don't think they did a, well, a good job balancing the pumpkin and the smoke. Mm-hmm. I think it's a cool concept because you get that fall vibe of, like, campfires. Mm-hmm. And you get the, the vibe yeah. of the pumpkins and all that. And you could pull <clears> something <throat> off. I just think they missed the mark on balancing that. So you've got enough of the pumpkin and enough of the smoke to get the flavor. Mm-hmm. Um and I think it just kind of more had the German lager with a little bit of smoke. Mm-hmm. And as, as Joe said, I can smell the pumpkin. That's about it. Yeah. So I kind of just, I don't know, missed mm-hmm. the mark for me on what it was promoting. Yeah. 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 Um, I think I'll go right down the middle. I'll give it a five. Um, mm-hmm. Like you said, it could have had a bit more of that pumpkin taste to it. I think that would have added a lot more. Um, but I like the smokiness to it, and I like the, mm-hmm. the lager-esque vibes that it was giving out. But if it needs to stick out a bit more, then it should have had a bit more of that pumpkin feel to it. Mm-hmm. But good pick. Okay. I'm going to split you guys right down the middle. I'm going to go with four. Yeah? Yes, um, yeah. I thought the cool. smokiness was a cool like little X factor. Mm-hmm. I can't I say I've had that flavor in a beer before. Definitely have had it in like a whiskey. Yep. But I'm not sure if I want that much smoke in a beer. Um, and this was mild, honestly, compared to some of the ones I've had. Yeah. Okay. So, I, I, I thought it was a little more than mild, mm-hmm. and I think it was because I was looking forward to the pumpkin taste too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I agree. I kind of wanted a little more balance, a little less smoke, a little more pumpkin, so it fits that kind of fall theme. Um, but you know, I like the name, I like the can, I like the concept, I, I like the idea of the flavor. Mm-hmm. But um, I can't drink a lot of these. Um, so I'm going to go four. Yeah. Cool. Yep. So there you go. And once again, I failed to do my pre-work yeah, here. Hangingillsbrewery.com. Go check them out. They are out of Weeha, West Hartford, I believe. Hartford. Yep. Um, On Instagram, they are Hanging Hills Brewing. On Twitter, they're at H Hills Beer. Mm. And Facebook, uh, you can just look up Hanging Hills. I'm sure they'll find it. Yeah, right. <laughs> Um, and then we have Alien Ant Farm. Um, are they still putting out stuff? They put out an album in 2015. Okay. okay. But that was six years ago. They are. weird to think about. Alien Ant Farm Official <laughs> on Instagram. Oh, they also have the official. It's yeah. not Alien Ant Farm Band Official. Yeah, though, no. So. Yeah. <laughs> Alien Ant Farm Official Blue Check. Ooh. Um, okay. 
March 6th was the 20th anniversary of Anthology. Oh, okay. And gotcha. they posted their Spotify 2020 Artist Wrapped stats. Oh, okay. They had 54.4 million streams last year. Wow. Uh, That's tw- not bad. Almost 11 million listeners, 92 countries. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> we're, we're sorry to those countries. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, go check them out and yeah. uh, or not. And... Um, <laughs> Do you? Yeah, do you? So, yeah, there you go. Uh, oh, Tom, yeah. you are concluding the uh, no hit or no hit. <laughs> the, the, the no, <laughs> that's pretty much where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> the one hit wonder yes. uh, mini series. Yes, I will be taking episode sixty-one. I have chosen Saint Elsewhere from uh, Gnarls Barkley. They did the song Crazy, ah, which, yes. which has a uh, CeeLo Green and another guy, I think. Um, so. Check that out. And also I'm doing a couple of ciders from uh, Holmberg Orchards out of Gales Ferry. I uh, went there yesterday for apple picking. I was a good boyfriend and I went. And oh, got the I flannel know. on. And I got the flannel. Out. Look at me. Look at I know. Yeah. So we're going to try a couple of those. I got a rosé and a, a regular one. I'm sorry, what was that? <laughs> Poor Sal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was okay. You know, yeah. it's, you know, spent $20 to buy apples. You could have got at the grocery store for five dollars but it was good them to a tree and pull them down to yeah, save right. some money <laughs> yeah it was it was fun so i actually haven't tried these out yet so we're gonna we're gonna try them out together and see what they're like awesome yeah. good deal yeah all right well thanks for listening thanks for You're watching welcome. we've been the hops and bobs podcast be sure to check us out on instagram tiktok and facebook we're streaming on apple Podcasts, spotify and uh go check our youtube channel for the episode playbacks and some more stuff And uh, check out our next episode. Spread the word. We're always up to some cool stuff. And here we are. So for Tom and Mike, I'm going to see you next time. Peace.